what a day it turned out to be. We had a brave breakaway that decided that they were going to take it on. And in fact, uh, their bravery was matched by those that bridged to them. Thomas de Ghent and Dario Cataldo from Astana decided to come and join the merry band of Gonzales from Oscar de Murias here in the uh, lime green. The dark green of uh, Caja Rural uh, was represented by Jonathan Lastra, who actually had some fun in some of uh, the sprints and indeed the climbs. Zalas from Burgos and indeed Gebre Xavier from... Uh, dimension data also up there. De Ghent made his move and we're speculating as to whether it might stick. Derek Cataldo decided to come and join him. But my goodness, we were heading for a brutal finale, weren't we, Matt? It's uh, the sort of uh, terrain that just takes a bite out of you. Yeah, and no, the, the sort of day that uh, leaves the legs stinging uh, these uh, five ascents. And this is one of the easier days today. We, this is uh, the penultimate climb of the day uh, that topped out with 22 Ks to go. It was uh, Team Sky and particularly Vasil Kirienka and uh, Michal Kwiatkowski setting the tempo, trying to reduce the bunch. But this are uh, the early brutal slopes of the final climb of the day, which was to be the defining point of the stage. I'm afraid he was, uh, was leading in for a little while, but the duties were exchanging between Lotto Yumbo. Boro had to interest quick step floors naturally, but Lotto Yumbo were trying to tee up Roglic and indeed uh, quick step Alaphilippe. And guess what? It was that pair that et into uh, the, the first little push by Nero Quintana. And in fact, they left him in their wake. Too punchy for Quintana, prefers a much longer Alpine test. And it was the explosive pairing of Alaphilippe and Roglic starting off amongst the day's favourites that lived up to that billing. In fact, when they crested and headed home, Quintana was looking for support or indeed company on what was to be a gnarly descent. Roman Bardet picked it up for AG Tour Le Mondial. He tried to close down. It's French bragging rights, don't forget, on uh, what is always uh, an important part of the season. There's never anything but, I think it's fair to say. Alaphilippe, though, had the, uh, had the mindset to deliver this one. He and Roglic battled out. Roglic almost forced by the Frenchman to take the lead. He came round him late. Alaphilippe not exactly holding his line, but quite frankly, he was uh, writing a script for himself. Pelo Bilbao it was for Astana that came over the line spectacularly so ahead of Enric Max of Quickstep, who was back up to Alaphilippe. Gorka is a gear.